Welcome to this Skillpad video resource, where we make learning fun. In this video we are going to look at stars and galaxies, those illuminant bodies that light up our sky on dark nights. Have you ever wondered what mysteries the universe holds? What are these illuminant bodies and how did they come to exist? The story begins with stars. A star in the simplest of terms, is a luminous sphere of plasma, held together by its own gravity. The nearest star to Earth is the Sun, which provides us with heat and light, the very foundations of life. The birth of a star is a captivating process. It all starts with a gas cloud, largely composed of hydrogen and helium. This cloud known as a nebula begins to collapse under the weight of its own gravity. As it collapses the gas becomes denser and hotter, forming a protostar. The protostar continues to grow, accumulating more and more mass from the surrounding nebula. Once the core temperature reaches 15 million degrees, a process known as nuclear fusion begins. The star then enters the longest stage of its life, the main sequence phase, where it spends billions of years burning hydrogen to produce helium. Stars are not all identical. They come in different sizes and colors, which are determined by their temperature. The hottest stars are blue, while the coolest stars are red. The brightness of a star depends on both its size and temperature. As a star exhausts its hydrogen supply, its life takes a dramatic turn. It expands into a red giant and eventually its outer layers are expelled, leaving behind a white dwarf. If the star was massive enough, it might undergo a supernova explosion and leave behind a neutron star or a black hole. Now let's turn our attention to galaxies. Galaxies are vast cosmic entities that house billions of stars. They are the cornerstone of the universe's structure. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is a barred spiral galaxy that contains hundreds of billions of stars. The formation of galaxies is a topic of ongoing study. The leading theory suggests that they were formed from massive gas clouds shortly after the Big Bang, around 13 billion years ago. The Milky Way, in particular, is thought to be about 13 and a half billion years old. Our Sun, one of the many stars in the Milky Way, is in the main sequence phase of its life cycle. It's expected to remain in this phase for another 5 billion years before it evolves into a red giant and eventually a white dwarf. So how many stars and galaxies are out there? The numbers are staggering. Current estimates suggest there are around 2 trillion galaxies in the observable universe, each containing hundreds of billions of stars. To summarize, stars and galaxies are fundamental constituents of the universe. Stars are born from nebulae, and their life cycle includes stages like the main sequence, red giant, and white dwarf or neutron star. Galaxies, including our Milky Way, house countless stars and have their origins in the early universe. The life cycle of stars and the formation of galaxies are subjects of great wonder and ongoing research. Thank you for using this Skillpad video resource. We hope it was illuminating. Tag along as we explore the world of science for your learning pleasure. We hope to see you again soon.